Boo! Sorry, I just had to do it. Uh, hello, everyone. Um, so, last year, I made a follow-up video to the 10th anniversary... No, to the 9th anniversary. Yeah, so wait, <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm trying to wrap my head around this. Because this is going to be a similar kind of video, except I'm obviously not showing my actual self again. I'm just using the VTuber model, as I said I would last time. So, this video is kind of a follow-up video from the 10th anniversary video. And that video of the 10th anniversary was also a follow-up from the 9th anniversary, which was announced in the 9th to 10th anniversary series. So I thought I'd just sit down for a moment and just... Like, I, I will say, just like the last video, the 10th anniversary video, I did actually watch the 10th, just like the 10th watch the 9th video, just to see what I was saying and what other bits and bobs was um, happening. And so that's why I'm here right now in the VTuber model and referencing the video already, like... And it's just... Yeah, it's kind of crazy, like, because, what, two years ago, I was, well, I don't even think two years ago at this point. You might have to check the other videos out, to be honest, just to make sure. But I'm pretty sure even in the 10th anniversary video, I was saying something like, oh, yeah, and I think I'll be, like, like quitting YouTube for a bit just to see how life is like. And the job would get in the way of doing all this, that, and the other. To be honest, yeah, kind of the job has kind of, like, it's eaten, obviously, it's eaten a lot more of my time. So I can't stream as often as I used to, but good God, like sometimes like there's moments like I think I it, it was literally this year I was doing Jump King streams that were lasting five to eight hours like and I thought I was going to be cutting down on content and cutting down on streams, but no, nope, we're still going, going strong. And yeah, like even speaking of content as well, like Sherry Harbour Story, obviously the logos in the back there, like it's weird to think about that like last year was kind of just a concept that first came out but like obviously there's a lot more like stuff that's come out with Sherry Albert's story in the meantime like basically like almost all of volume one has come out a lot more concepts have come out uh explanation videos summary videos uh music pieces so on and so forth it's just crazy and like just whilst I'm on that same train set of um or mindset sorry of um uh, channels and stuff like Sherry Albert channel stuff. I want to just say 260 is the Joe's Night Flyer channel subscriber count and this is mainly for my next year self just to compare numbers here. Uh, the Joe's Night Flyer's clips channel is 196, Sherry Albert is on 142 and the Flyers, uh, Joe's Night Flyer's archives is on 41. Sorry if you heard that. I don't know if you heard that way actually did you? No you wouldn't have heard that because that's on the desktop. But um it's crazy because in that video, I think I mentioned that I had like 213 subscribers or something on the Joe Sniflyer channel. And even then beforehand, I think like the previous year before that, I got like 100 subscribers on the Joe Sniflyer channel. So just to see it like in two years get to 260 is just absolutely bananas, honestly. And the fact that I even have three channels that are like over 100 subscribers is also crazy as well. It's also crazy to think that like this year as well. Like, the Nightflyer channel is just completely gone. Like, last time I was really only talking about how it was just converted. And now it's kind of just dead and buried in water. Because even if you check the URL for the channel, if you put in at Sherry Arbor Story, like, it comes up now. So you won't even have to see the Nightflyer. Like, if you put in youtube.com slash C slash the Nightflyer, it takes you to Sherry Arbor. But that used to be the URL, the custom one for the Nightflyer channel, which is so weird. And, um, I will say as well, what was it? I think... Yeah, Joe Sniflyer's clips overtook Joe Sniflyer last year. But this year, it's kind of just kept its lead, Joe Sniflyer, honestly. And then the clips channels after, obviously Sherry Albers after that. And then the archives has been such an oddball. It's like, last in the last video, I was mentioning it had like 15 subs, and now it has 41. I don't even try on that channel. That's the saddest part, like... <laughs> because, like, even on this channel, right? Last year, I was mentioning that this channel will probably only get, like, VODs and highlight videos, basically. But now it gets like VODs, highlight videos, this update video, it had D3, which was an edited video. It has multiple different edits of VODs that come from the archive channels. Like, it's just crazy to see how different this channel is. And it even gets shorts sometimes as well, like when I'm bothered to make them. Like, And then the clip channels is literally just for clips. Obviously, Share Albers for Share Albers. And then Joseph Flair's archives are for videos I just can't have on the other channels, like copyrighted content and all that sort of business. Like or content that's been moved from the other channels onto the archive channel, which is why it's literally called Joe's Night Flyers Archive, so, yeah. Yeah, no, it's just, it's seriously crazy to think that potentially two years ago, I was thinking about stopping doing YouTube altogether, but I'm still holding that up. I've also got a job as well, 
Yeah, one year ago, like from this day, I still did not have a job yet. It was only in February that I was confirmed that I was going to start working in March, which is crazy. Like, because even there, I literally just finished my last day of work for the year. And it's just like, oh God, yeah, I've been working for like nine months now. And sure, it's not like full-time work, but that that's still me working. I'm I'm actually contributing something to society. And I don't know if it comes through in my videos at all, but IRL, like, one of the things I mentioned in my interview with them is like, they were mentioning like, oh, what would you like to improve upon yourself whilst you're here? It's like, oh, well, I'd like to be more confident and this, this, and this. And they've even said it to me themselves, like everybody at work's like, you know, you're actually like a lot more confident for when you, from when you started out. And it's like, well, yeah, actually I am like, like, I know that's kind of patronizing and uh, toot my own horn, but it's true, though. Like, genuinely, like, when I see people, um, if I do a weird, awkward sh uh, walk shuffle in front of someone, you know, like, when you're both standing in front of each other and you keep moving side to side to try and stop, like, or get out of the way of each other, I'll, I'll literally, like, chuck a little in my breath and say sorry, like, whereas before I'd just do it awkwardly and then just skip past them, like. And I try to be a bit more courteous as well and more <laughs> gentleman-like and all that, and yeah. Um, I just remembered it there as well. It's actually kind of depressing to even bring it up. But this year as well, like, it's different because, like, I, unlike the previous two videos, this year I did actually lose someone that was, like, really close to me. I'm not, I still don't want to say who exactly. It's a bit more personal, but I will put that out at least, that they were really close to me. And, um, yeah, li literally, like, every day I probably, like, think about them because it's hard not to. And it's, like... They were such a big and integral part of my life that it's it's weird that, like, I'm even still going, like, three months afterwards. But obviously, like, life goes on and stuff, but there are moments where I genuinely just... I, I know it's a bit personal now, I know, but I might as well say it, because this is kind of just a vlog to myself in the future anyway, but... There's just moments where I just feel a lot of stress and different emotions mixing around. Sorry for the phone again. But, um, no, but genuinely, there's, like, moments where I just want to just fall out crying, like, and all that, so... And then there's just some days where just I really don't feel like doing anything, but I try to push myself to do it. Which, speaking on that, actually, try, like, not wanting to do anything, and also tying it into tiredness. I feel like this year, especially, I've been a lot more tired. Um, Because just yesterday, I had, like, a G Fuel can. It was, like, an orange flavor, like, orange burst or something. And, like, I had it at work. And, like, I noticed, like, it was having an effect on me. Oh, of course, 300 milligrams straight into your body. A full, one serving can, by the way. Um, it would affect you, because <laughs> quite literally, it was like, we were doing something in another room, like, uh, cleaning it up, basically, and, and I was like, oh, wow, I'm legitimately a lot more aware and a lot more awake. This is so weird, like, so, like, <laughs> in order for me to actually get my caffeine intake, I actually have to take American versions of, um, drinks, because it's literally impossible for me to, um, like... <laughs> Or, like, I'm so used to caffeine because I used to drink different monster cans and stuff when I was younger. Then I transitioned into just coffee. And now I'm kind of, like, I'm still kind of more of a coffee guy now. But, like, I can't say I'm not tempted to drink more, like, um, energy drinks. But the problem with them, though, is, like, they're so, like, they say they're not sugary. But they use, like, artificial sweeteners, which is just as worse, like. That's the only reason why I didn't want to, like, get back into energy drinks as well. And it's just, like... My teeth as well, like, that's a thing that happened this year. Like, for the first time in probably, what, over a decade, like, I actually went to the dentist as well. I know it's not really a major point in all this YouTube shit and Twitch shit, but, like, I just thought I'd mention it anyway because it's, like, mad that I got two fillings in and they're still there, obviously, like, I think. Wait. <laughs> yeah, both of them are still there. Still can only really eat from one side of my mouth because the other's kind of sensitive, but I can eat softer stuff, though, on the left-hand side of my mouth. So, yeah, that's actually kind of nice. Um, oh, is there something else I was thinking about? Oh, yeah, sorry. So, rolling it back into YouTube and Twitch. Twitch in general, I think last year I was saying I was at, like, 90-something followers Um, as I recorded that video. And as of right now, we're at 146, I believe. And another thing that's changed about streaming as well is the fact that I actually... I don't just stream on Twitch anymore. Like, I've done some YouTube streams before. I've done some uh, restreams on different platforms, like uh, Kick and all. And, like, even nowadays, I just stream on both, like, Twitch and Kick. And then I save the VOD, like, pull the VOD from Twitch and then upload that to YouTube, so. Like, when I think I can't up my, like, work productivity anymore when it comes to, like, being a content creator or a VTuber, 
I just one up myself every single year. Like, I don't know how I do it. Like, I seriously don't. Like, to be fair, I have kind of dropped the whole TikTok thing because I remember last year I'd said I'll upload more TikToks, but I'll be honest, I'm kind of not arsed. I'm more interested in editing actual videos for, like, uh, long form videos for the Joe's Night Flyer channel. Um, but yeah, no, the follower count though, 90 to 146 followers is just, it's also just mad as well. I think we were at 147 at one point, but then like, it was only people that were literally following, literally for the sake of attention, and I was like, no, get out. It's just, no. I wish I could just say that, but I can't really. I'm still a bit, like, reserved in a sense, but yeah, it's just, yeah, I don't know. Because I'm trying to think of other bits and bobs, but I've mentioned Sherry, I've mentioned YouTube and Twitch and a bit of stuff about life and... I guess I could mention, because last year I mentioned um, how I went to America. Obviously, I was right when I said like I couldn't top going to America. I but to be fair, we still went to the UK, which was pretty cool. I actually got to see um, KSI and a bunch of other influencers IRL, because I went to the um, KSI versus uh, Tommy Fury fight, and I was so disappointed. I don't ever want to go to a boxing event again. That was so bad. Like, oh my god, literally, like, there was only three fights that actually mattered, and they were all in the middle card. Like, there, there was, like, the appetizer at the start, the two, I think the first boxing match, and then there's, like, the middle of the card or something, where there was three fights, and then the last one, there was two fights. Don't even get me started on Logan's fight, and the, the amount of things I shouted at him as well, it's like, Give me back my money, you crypto scammer! Even though, like, he literally owes me nothing, but, sure, look at You do have a bit of fun when you're, like, a pint deep, like... But uh, that was great crap though, like actually like going uh, back to the UK again. It, it's, it kind of just ties it back around to 2017 again, but yeah. I do kind of hope at some point in like next year that I just take another holiday, but I'm not too sure right now because things in my life right now are really different and I need to like weigh my stuff properly. And I'm, I might even like, I know I have a job, but I might actually just have to get another job because Kind of the point of my current job is to get a full-time job rather than staying on the uh, thing job forever. But I also like the current freedom I have, though. Like, it's a nice mix, right? Because I'm in work three, well, two and a half days, and then I'm out of work for, like, basically four and a half. So, like, I don't stay in work long enough to actually dread it. And even if I do dread it, I could just take annual leave time. So, like, there's no need to worry about that. But, yeah... I think that's it. Honestly, there's not really much else to mention, I don't think, other than the fact that I made a Threads account. I don't think I mentioned that much around yet, but it's at Joe's Night Flare as well. It's linked to the Instagram account, so it's not too hard to find there. I haven't used it as much as uh, Twitter because, like, it's just... It hasn't been uh, tweaked yet to, like, actually suck me in yet. It's only kind of just there as an option. Uh, obviously, I have a Kick account as well, which is Joe's Night Flare. I mentioned that when I was talking about Twitch stuff. And then when it comes to Sherry Albert's Story Volume 1, chapters 1, 2, 3, and 4, along with other various bits, are out now. And then hopefully sometime next year, I'm hoping to wrap up uh, Volume 1. And then I don't know what's going to happen in Volume 2. All I can say about like this current, like this next year coming, like if you thought I kind of winded down in some areas this year, like next year I feel like it's going to be a big, big wind down. Like it's going to be completely just winded down. Actually, I will say as well before I even go, I want to mention Destiny real quick. <laughs> because like I'm actually at this stage where I still haven't pre-ordered the next uh, Destiny expansion yet and I don't think I will. I really hope I stick to that though. Because just after all the stuff that's gone through with Bungie. If in the future you're watching this, by the way, re like, remember what Bungie did uh, during Season of the Witch. The big layoff of um, October, I think it was. Or was it September? I think it was October. Uh, just remember that, future people, just in case. And all of Bungie's other wrongdoings. And remember, it's the people on top, not the devs themselves. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry. Right, anyway. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Um, just like I said last time, it is kind of weird that I say video and not thing. Because I literally don't really sit down to record videos that aren't for like the sherry Arbor story channel or d3 which as well d3 is just gone so i didn't even get to mention that until now but yeah that's not returning as a series but something will replace it i mean just like trying to sing was replaced by joe's mixtape like something will replace it eventually like anyway so i will actually go this time i'll let you all go um because i need to get working on some videos for both sherry Arbor. Uh, obviously the Joe Snow Flyer is uh, the best of 2023 or yeah 2023 as well so yeah thank you all so much for watching this video and listening to me just ramble and stuff 
Happy 11th birthday. This channel's really old now. <laughs> I thought 10 years was, seemed old, but 11 makes it seem a lot older for some reason. Um, obviously, <laughs> if you guys like the video, like it. Make sure to comment down below what you thought. Oh, wait, actually, test, right? Look at the bar below me if you're watching this on YouTube. <clears throat> like the video. If that thing glow, glue up at the bottom or glow, glowed up? Yeah, glue up at the bottom. Let me know, please, because I, I think that's such a cool feature that YouTube have in. I haven't really been keeping up with YouTube features, but like I seen that at some point. I thought that was cool. And I'm going to say this as well, because it might glow up as well. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. So if you heard, if the subscribe button lit up down below, uh, subscribe today. Please subscribe. Make sure to subscribe. Okay. It, it should have gl glow up at least once there, probably. I wonder if it only glows up once based on the first time you say subscribe and like and stuff, or if it just keeps going throughout the video. Like, that'd be so gas. The bottom of your, like, bar would be such a rave if somebody in a song was like, 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 or even just me accidentally saying the word like in between each sentence, like. You see, like that. Um, anyway, I'll let you all go for real this time. Again, thank you all so much for joining me. And uh, let's see how 2024 goes, right?